okay so let's continue it from the previous video if you have not seen that uh, you can just take a view in the description box the link for the my previous video is also there so you can take it from there and the entire playlist is there so we have created our app VPN as a virtual private network gateway or a virtual network gateway here so once we configure it now it's deployed and we have to configure the settings so we need to click on point to site configuration so once we click on this then i will be getting some settings here uh, let me quickly show you here you can see that uh, in this configuration point to site configurations we have an address pool it's asking for the root certificate as well as the public certificate data so i can't uh, put the information here i need to put information the address pool i am putting it as this is a pool that the clients which are going to be connected with this server or its VPN gateway so the IP address that would be assigned to them so I am assigning a range here 172.16.1.0 so client will be getting IP of this range and I am putting a, a name here so I can choose the name the, I have to select the name anything could be possible whatever you want I'm taking it for the root CS cert name here the certificate which we have created in the last uh, video if you have not seen that you may go and check out from the description box the link would be there so root CS cert and I need to put the data so make sure that you should take it as a six, uh, base encoding 64 format so you can open in uh, this certificate in notepad base 64 format structure make sure that and at the time of export you will be getting that i have done that in the last video if you go in the mnc you will get this option to export it so i'm just copying that public certificate data here and i place the name i put the address pool information now i need to save this so just click on this to save it it will take a couple of minutes and you will get a final confirmation at here so just wait for a few minutes once it's get done we will download the vpn client and supply it to client machine as well as we will uh, give that uh, inform uh, certificate the client certificate which we have created in the last video also so just wait for the couple of minutes to get it done okay seems like it's done uh, we can just take a look from here okay so now we can see it's done right here and now the next option we have to download this VPN file and transfer this file to client machine so let's do that click on download VPN client and this will uh, download the VPN client at my server here itself only but i have to supply it to the clients okay it's working it okay it's because it's not in common so no issue i want to keep it with us okay so this is what we have downloaded because it's an untrusted uh, site it's saying okay so this is what we have a vpn client available now i need to connect it to one of my client computer so i can s copy this certificate and this uh, vpn configuration client these two things we have to deploy it on client same as you have to supply the client certificate to each individual clients as we have generated so let me just quickly click on this and connect my client machine this is my one of the client computer windows 10 computer the id is spl admin okay it's not a part of this network anywhere okay this computer is not in the part of this entire network let me just show you the IP configuration this is what I have uh, IP address of this machine so I'm just copying these two things to this server so we can visit this client okay so now the configuration is copied on this wind client this is what we have here 
now we have to deploy the client configuration so let's uh, go ahead and deploy it so I'm just accepting this uh, client VPN client and we have to install this certificated machine so it can installing it uh, with the current users just click next to get it done okay so it's asking the password so the password which we have given at the time of certificate export I'm putting it here and we are going to place it it's now export imported and then I have to install the client so these are the configurations let me just quickly show you the VPN configuration which we have here at machine so just type VPN in the box and you can see no none of the VPNs are installed here if I check IP config slash all I can't see any VPN connected only we have one Ethernet is connected with this network so let me quickly install it here in the 64-bit machine so I'm installing it a 64-bit client okay now it's done if I go back I can see the app VNet which we have created a VPN gateway and the VPN network it's installed now so I can click on this and I will get an option here advanced options to see the configuration certificates information etc so now just going back and trying to connect it okay it's trying to connect let's click on connect okay okay now you can see the network is connected so now you are connected with internal network see how it's getting we can just take a look here just do rp config all once again now so the first one is this one is the or original NIC that was connected earlier also and now we can see our vpn adapter is connected and it's taking the ip address the range which we have configured at uh, vpn gateway that one let me just quickly go back and show you the one which we have selected it here this one 16.0 the vpn side configuration which we have taken it so i think uh, it's asking me to save it again might be something changed no issue let's go back so let's go back at my client so now you can see the client is connected and the same ip it's get an ip address of two that is the same range which we have configured over there so now the vpn is connected we have tested the vpn connection how we can configure on the base of certificate based authentication if i revoke the certificate from here i can put a certificate information here or anything name and then it will uh, revoke it the client cannot connect to that that's why i can i ask you to get a different certificates for uh, different clients we should not take a same certificate for each client so now the second point is come how we can test it out in the real environment like it's connected that is fine but we have to check it out with through some application testing or some application gateway so i'm just going to show you this part also uh, what i'm going to uh, show you i will create an server and host and website at that server and then we'll show you how we can access it when we are connected to vpn and when we are not connected then it should not accessible so what we have to do we have to create a virtual machine or a server and host a website at that server so i will do that in the next video so you can keep watching in the next video link is also in the description box you can check it out the next video from there entire playlist is also mentioned in the same description box you can watch it from there also so let's connect in the next video and see how we are going to deploy a machine along with a website till now thank you